Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the first tutorial in this brand new series of tutorials on HTML and uh, in this tutorial I'll be talking to you guys about what uh, HTML is and uh, the prerequisites for this course and uh, also uh, what I'll be covering in this course. Right, so HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language and uh, it's not a programming language, uh, it's a language that web browsers understand. Right, and uh, it's also not the only technology that's used to make websites. Uh, you know, you usually use HTML in conjunction with uh, other popular technologies like CSS or JavaScript. And uh, in this course, though, we are only going to focus on HTML and we are not going to check out uh, CSS or JavaScript. Right, and uh, you know, a couple of things that I would want you guys to do uh, if you are going to follow along this course, watch all the tutorials, you should be having at least. Uh, two web browsers installed on your system, right? So if you are a Microsoft Windows user, you would probably be having Internet Explorer already. So what you can do in that case is uh, you can download and install uh, Google Chrome or Firefox. And if you're a Mac user, then you probably use Safari. So, you know, in that case, you can download and install uh, Google Chrome or Firefox again. And uh, just make sure that whatever examples we discuss in this course, uh, you know, you check them out uh, across different web browsers and even the HTML that you, uh, you know, write on your own. Just make sure that whatever code you write looks the same across different browsers. And this is very important because you wouldn't want to ever make a website that looks uh, one way or functions one way in one browser and functions in a different way on another browser. Another thing is that you would also need a good text uh, editor. And uh, again, if you are a Microsoft Windows user, then uh, Microsoft Notepad would probably be your default text editor. And uh, Notepad is not a bad program. It's, it's a good piece of software, but it doesn't fulfill all our requirements, right? So uh, I love uh, Notepad++. It's a free tool that you can download and install from the internet. And uh, you know, it, uh, provides a syntax highlighting feature which allows me to detect uh, bugs uh, in my websites uh, so it makes debugging very easy and uh, you know even otherwise I like the look and feel of the software it provides a lot of features and uh, it's a good software so you can just try it out and you know you can try out other text editors too if you want and you can see which one you like the most and uh, you know you can stick to that and uh, if you prefer working with Microsoft Notepad, then that's fine too. But you cannot use uh, you know, a word processing software like Microsoft Word because when you save a text file in Microsoft Word, a lot of other information gets saved along with the, you know, the text which web browsers don't understand. So you cannot use Microsoft Word, but you can use uh, Microsoft Notepad. Right. So over here, I have a very simple HTML document for you guys. And uh, you guys must have noticed that I've saved this file with the name tutorial hyphen one, and it has the extension dot HTML, right? And this is very important. So even if you're going to use Microsoft Notepad, uh, you would have to save all your uh, HTML documents with the extension dot HTM or dot HTML, because only then will web browsers uh, understand that, you know, these are HTML files and would process them accordingly. So anyway, uh, what I have in this file is uh, the doc type declaration on line number one. And uh, it's very simple. You have the exclamation symbol and the word doc type, that's D-O-C-T-Y-P-E in capital letters, a space, and then the word HTML. And uh, you have all of this enclosed between uh, the less than symbol and the greater than symbol. And uh, some people also like to call these the opening and closing angular brackets, right? And uh, the purpose of having this in this file is that, you know, this instructs web browsers that uh, whatever follows, you know, after this declaration in the file is all HTML, right? So it's kind of like a warning <laughs> to web browsers. And uh, you know this is the HTML5 way of uh, including the doc type declaration. The you know older version of uh, HTML uh, required us to also include a DTD and some more fancy text, which fortunately we do not have to remember now because you know HTML5 has made our lives uh, so much more simple. So anyway, uh, you have to include this in all the web pages uh, that you make. And on line number three, you have uh, the opening HTML tag and on line number 18, you have the closing HTML tag and all the other HTML elements have to go between the opening and closing HTML uh, tags, 
right and although uh, the doc type declaration takes the form of an html tag it's not actually an html tag right so you know uh, what i mean by that is that the html tag also is enclosed between the less than symbol and the greater than symbol but you know this is uh, you know something that is a part of the html language whereas this is not an html element right it's something that uh you have for the sake of your web browsers but you know this is not going to change the functionality of your web pages in any way however this is a requirement you need to have this if you don't have it then you know web browsers won't render your page at all right so um it's very simple you have the less than symbol and the greater than symbol again and then in between these two symbols you have the word html right and uh, you have a corresponding closing tag as i said uh, earlier on line number 18 the only difference between this and this is that in this tag that is the closing tag you have the forward slash before the word html right and uh, any html document is 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 going to have uh, two sections you know it's going to have a head section and it's going to have a body section so whatever you're going to put within the body section of your html document is going to be displayed within the main window of your web browser whereas whatever you're going to put in the head section is not going to be displayed within the main window but you know you would save things like uh, you know description about your web pages or you know uh, information about the author or you know if you would want to you know refresh your page after every few seconds and that's also going to be done through uh, a tag in the in the head section and then you know the title of the page uh, goes in the head section as well so you know for that you have the title tag and uh, that's on line number 5 you have the opening title tag and on line number 7 you have the closing title tag and in between these two tags you have you know some text structure of an html doc and uh, you know let me show you guys how this page looks uh, you know when i open it in a web browser so you know i've opened it in google chrome here and uh, as you see you know over here at you know uh, you know at the top of the page uh, you know the title of the window says uh, structure of an html doc and if i keep my pointer on it i can even read it it's structure of an html doc so you know this is where it comes from it comes from the head section and more specifically it comes from whatever you have between the title tags right and i do not have any more elements in the head section at the moment but you know as we move along the course i'll talk about more things that you can include in the head section to make your website more search engine friendly and you know uh how you can do some other interesting stuff you know uh through the elements that go within the head section and then i have the body section you know which again uh is very simple you have uh the word body would mean the less than and the greater than symbols the opening tag on line number 9 and the closing tag on line number 17 and uh, in between uh, you know the opening and closing body tags i have two more elements uh, the first one is uh, the h1 element and uh, this is you know if you want to have a heading and the largest possible heading uh, you know uh, by default html uh, standard and then you also have a paragraph uh, you know uh, which is included through the p tag so the the opening p tag is on line number 13 and the closing p p tag is on line number 15 so between the uh, opening h1 tag and the closing h1 tag i have uh, the text this is the heading and between the opening and closing p tags i have uh, the text as simple as it gets so you know this is how the site looks if you open it in a browser so obviously the 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 heading is is you know is bold and it's bigger and uh, the paragraph text is is smaller right so i'm going to talk about these uh, elements you know uh, individually in the next few tutorials and also collectively again maybe but you know in this tutorial i just wanted to show you guys the structure of a basic html document so you know these are things that you would have to include and uh, i'm going to talk about the significance of each of these uh, in more detail later on but you know for the time being just try to you know copy this code down and you know uh put it in a text file save it with the html extension and open it in a web browser just to see that you know everything works fine right so i hope you guys had fun watching this tutorial and i'll see you in the next one uh till then take care and you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already